Hey guys, update to the budget gun review. A uh, couple of things I wanted to clear up. When reporting the yardages from which I shot all those guns, the 22 long rifle, I did move up to 50 or 60 yards. I wanted to make sure we had a nice recognizable group. Also, the other big guns, I had a table set up at about 80. Everything was shot at a great big tree, and uh, essentially those were the yardages. So big guns, about 80. The 22 long rifle, about 50. Um, uh, da, 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 da. I apologize for the heavy breathing on camera while I was shooting. That's my 11-year-old son, McCaden, and he is still learning his film editing and etiquette and all that fun stuff. Um, I also said something to the effect of that AR will do about as well as the others, and what I meant to say was that that budget AR will perform about as well as any other mid to low range but, uh, AR platform rifle. I did not in any way mean to uh, infer that a Smith & Wesson M&P 15 completely stocked is going to perform as well as a Noveski or something really high end. A $2,500 AR with polished up parts and a, you know, sub MOA barrel is clearly a different animal than one of these. And so this was not a head-to-head -head competition, high end versus low end, or anything like that. So, um, feel free to comment with any questions that come up. Um, I'm trying to speak to people that have some knowledge. I'm trying to speak to everybody, but people that have some knowledge and are somewhat familiar with terms and uh, terminology and if you're not, if I say a trigger is an eight to nine pound trigger and you don't understand exactly what that means, feel free to comment and ask and I will try to get back to everybody and answer any questions, comments, concerns. So thanks again 